Good morning. Let's play some chess again. 15 minutes and we are rated 1061. Playing against the 1080 this morning. And uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see what uh, what we get today. <clears throat> kind of similar, similar to what we saw yesterday. Ooh, he hops in with the knight right away. So there is no no uh, time to relax here. Now that looks like a free pawn, but I have a feeling that if I take that pawn, I'm going to run into some serious trap thing. I just take that knight and then uh, not going to fall for those traps. Well, at least I'm not trying to this morning. And uh, yeah, we can castle on our next move. Now he has double pawns. But I cannot develop my knight to its normal square. Okay, so we get a check. How to deal with that check? I can block with the bishop, but yeah, we don't, he doesn't have to trade, maybe he goes there and then I have my bishop in a place where I don't want it to have. Maybe I will develop the knight here. Yes, I'll develop the knight. Knight can always go to f3 when I'm done castling. Uh, he can take. I'm very happy giving me the bishop pair, but I have a feeling he doesn't go for that wow wow this guy this guy wow why is he so aggressive why are people so aggressive let me see looks to me like a free pawn i don't know maybe he wants to develop with some tempo i don't know i I don't know. Isn't that just a free pawn? Or am I walking into some kind of weird stuff? I think I will just go back. I think I just go back and on the next move I want to castle and uh, maybe that bishop comes here to attack my queen I can stop but I have a feeling he's going to sacrifice I don't know just just such a feeling but if I castle and he goes there for his uh, large attack, I can um, block it, but I don't know. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Um, and I also don't want to put my queen in a pin. Uh, so h3 looks like a good move I think yeah let's play h3 just to prevent that bishop from uh, attacking my queen
And we need a castle and we need to get that knight out. We need some space. Okay. Well, he's coming after it. Uh, well, this is uh, a logical move in response. Giving him the option to take my knight or to retreat the bishop. He's going to retreat. Okay. Well, that gives me the option to castle here. Okay. So our king is safe. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, now we can think about the next phase of the game. About an uh, attacking plan. For instance, where do I want to have that knight? Of course, f3, that's a logical beginning. But then, is that really the place where I want the knight? I can also transfer my knight to uh, g3 something like this this but why would I want to do that I also can launch some sort of an attack here using the fact that his bishop is kind of out of play here because of his own pawn Um, that is an idea. Maybe this is the then swing the knight over. Maybe I can use the pin. The pin there. So there are options here. You can also play it safe for now. Just develop the knight. Not sure what I will do if my bishop gets attacked. I think I will just go back. Um, well, I really like the prospect of uh, maybe attacking here, but I'm also leaving a lot of weak squares behind. Um, this is also a nice move for my knights, but what am I doing here? No, nothing. I think for now I will just centralize my knight here. That's fine. Okay. Wow, he's going for it. <clears throat> Well, I want to develop the bishop. I really like this place for my bishop for some reason. And I can tuck it away. I will have a lot of scope. On the other hand, um, maybe I want to attack the king at some 
at some point. I can also develop my bishop here just to threaten something like this. You know what? Let's let's do that. We develop a bishop, we make use of the pin, nothing special. Maybe bring the rook to the center. Is this a threat though? Mm, not really, not really. But I can force him to make some weaknesses on the king side. That I can do. Just with a simple pawn move, okay. Well, let's keep that pin for now. And let's see if he wants to uh, make some concessions here. So he goes back. Yep, he wants to break that pin. Um, yeah, let's let's get that bishop out of here. And I'm looking at this spot because of the pin. Uh, he cannot take my knight, so I can attack some stuff here if I get my knight here. That would be nice. So this is this is sort of a threat. Sort of, not really. But I will just keep an eye on that. <clears throat> um, yeah. Yep, that's quite predictable. I'm not going to give you my uh, my bishop just like that. On the other hand, the knight is loose here. The knight is loose. So I can maybe take that pawn on the next move. Ah, but he will take back with the queen and then this pawn is hanging. So it's... Uh, that's dangerous. Ooh, I can attack that bishop. Or... Or, no, 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 that's not possible because he takes with check. That's the, that's the whole problem. That's the whole problem. But we can exchange pieces. That's, that's fine. And I'm looking at a way how to exploit the fact that, um, Uh, this knight is unprotected, so I can I can push the pawn. Is that an idea? First, take that bishop. Is there a way I can protect that pawn? Well, I can do it old style.
you know what? Let's uh, but he can push that pawn up. No, you know what? Let's let's try it. Let's go for a cheap trick. Let's see if we can pull that off. No. He is not falling for it, unfortunate. But uh, let's pressure the knight. Okay. So he wants to exchange bishops here. Uh, if I do, he probably will take back with the pawn and then he has his knight protected, so... Yeah, that's uh, actually annoying. I'm not going to win that pawn there. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. But I don't want to open up his file. I don't want to do that. So let's uh, be annoying. But now this will comes with this, which is uh, dangerous for me. So I probably will hold off onto that plan for now. Maybe if he takes, that helps me a little bit. But still, we are up a pawn, so in fact, we could also just make an argument for just trading all the pieces here and try to play an endgame but endgames are easier when you are up two pawns rather than one so uh, We are quite down on the clock, 6 minutes against 12, our opponent is playing fast moves. He's not playing bad, I have to admit, he's playing solid, very solid. Um, okay, well, my rook is under attack, so let's... Uh, Not blunder our rook. He has some pressure there, but also his knight is under attack right now. So <clears throat> okay, he pulls his knight back which is uh, probably a good decision, but that drops the pawn. That's, that is an important pawn, I think. I'm trying to win that pawn for a long, long time. And uh, um, yeah, let's take that, that's a free pawn. Okay. <clears throat> I can take another pawn. I will lose this one. Mm, that's not what I really want. Uh, I can protect the knight with the pawn. 
creating some weaknesses and this becomes a weak pawn so I rather have uh, something like this uh, or 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 this no or this I like this move blockades the pawns yes he can push that but I don't think that's a good idea yeah I'll, well looks like a fork or not mm. yeah that's a fork that's unfortunate and what's the downside of this move Ooh. What's the downside? Maybe I get pinned, or he is going to push. But that's that's fine with me. Let's uh, let's let's do this. Yep, but that's another free pawn. I will take and take back. Yeah, that's that's. That's 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 not good. That is that is not good. Now you are losing a lot of um, material. Let's protect the pawn for now. It's not a move I really want to make, but I need to protect the pawns. I'm attacking a few things, and. Uh, Yeah, it's also time to get my king to a more safer space or active, I would say. Push some pawns, restrict the knight. So I think a move like g3 is a nice move. But the knight can hop in here. It's possible. And then I can chase it away really gaining space with a lot of tempo I can walk up my king and uh, ah, our opponent uh, disconnected so I think they don't want to play anymore um, which I understand I mean down three pawns in an end game like this that's probably losing but then again at this rating range I think you should try to play on I mean I make a lot of blunders also in the end game many times I just hang my rook hang my knight uh, I even hang checkmate so everything is possible um, but if you don't want to play on just uh, resign that's also possible so uh, ah he's back he is back so he disconnected and now he's back. Okay. Well, I still think that uh, G3 can be a good move. Ah. He resigns. Okay. Well, that's that's a good thing to do. Just resign the game. That's uh, Sportman's ships. And um, let's have a look at the analysis shortly. And uh, okay. Oh, 17.1. It's not that great, <laughs> but uh, okay. Now let's see. The opening was quite normal. Yep, taking the knight was good. I'm wondering what's the trick if I took the pawn? What's the trick there? Oh, 
So here, 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 and then take the pawn. Come on, computer. Queen g5, queen g5, attacking my horsey. And if I protect the horsey, the pawn. Nope. Sacrifice the horsey here. What? Knight takes f7. Oh, of course, it's protected, but then what? This is crazy. I don't, I really don't like these sorts of games. I don't like those. I like this better. That's a, a miss. Okay, it's a miss. I should have gone here. Takes, takes, ah, of course, and then he has to retreat if he wants to keep the tension. I have a nice center, I castle. Okay, well, that makes sense. I don't hate this, but that's just a free pawn. Okay. Yep, castles, this is all fine. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just preventing uh, the bishop getting kicked out, also preventing some, some expansion there. Okay. In this computer says take that take that pawn, but I'm so worried about you know stuff happening here. Like he cannot take my pawn. This is so messy. Computer says I'm completely winning here. I'm plus eight. So there must be some sort of a winning tactic here. I am not seeing. Bishop e5. Well, I do get a lot of action here on the king side. That's true. Bishop takes a3. Uh, okay. So take my pawn. All my pawns are hanging here. Bishop takes b2. What? Ah, the, the queen is hanging. What? Oh, the queen is trapped here. Ah, no, no, it's not. Well, now it's mating for g6. Oh, it's unstoppable mate. Wow, no way. No way. Ah, okay. So there are some tricks there. Ah, I just can take I can take that pawn and this is not a problem. Okay. Well good to know. I will uh, explore that a little bit after the recording. Okay, so he drops the pawn. Yeah, I could take that pawn. Computer says that's the best move, but I just don't want to give away anything. Yeah. Yeah, of course, I, I can also take that pawn and then simultaneously defend that pawn. I could have been a little bit sharper here. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. But either way, was an okay game, I guess. Nothing really special. So, um, okay. Well, thank you for watching again. We are now, oh, we are almost 1100, one point away. So maybe tomorrow we will reach the 1100. And then, uh, 
go from there. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.